Hey, this is Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, and welcome to part two of the 1962 Chevy Hot Wheels pickup build. I'm using some 3D printed parts from Benchworks for the first time, which includes this chassis and interior, and really good detail, real quality parts. And if you watched, <clears throat> excuse me, part one, this is where we ended off trying to get it to roll, the motor, blah, 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 blah. And as always, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of all future videos. So yes, sadly I had to cut the headers and the um, transmission off the off the motor, but in the end it all works out. <clears throat> what so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to line up and figure out what I need for. Um, for to be able to get the front wheels to roll so what i ended up doing is and i don't know if you'll be able to see it here because my thumb but i ended up notching the oil pan out of the uh the motor because to get the motor to sit at the height i wanted it to sit um the axle would have been sitting it would have been sitting like a gasser so i had to notch a good god i don't know three-eighths of an inch maybe out of the oil pan <clears throat> excuse me and it's a solid printed part so it works out okay it's easy to grind and cut and slice and dice but um th this was the only way i could get it to to really sit exactly where i wanted it to to sit um so pretty much what i'm doing is i'm cutting the axle tube and i'm using a piece of piano wire which is actually stuff i use for axles and um I'm just going to mock it up right now, trying to make sure I get the right width that I'm looking for. So as you can see, everything rolls nice and neat, and it's pretty much got the stance that I want. If I would have dropped it down any lower in the front, I think it would have been too, um, it would have been really high up on the chassis, on the motor. So I was, I opt to see right there, you can kind of see how I notch that. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> wow, I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> So what I'm using now is some brass, and I, a lot of times I'll use styrene for this, and I'm, what I'm doing is I'm making some frame rails. Not really needed, but I think it just helps with the aesthetic uh, since the axle tube is actually glued to the motor, but I want to have some semblance of a, a, a front frame. The styrene that I have was too big, and it just would have looked... Um, it just wouldn't look proportional so this really small 1 16th square tubing worked out really really well um, so you can see right there how it all kind of came together so if you notice and i mentioned it in the last video is i did notch out and cut off the grill so that way that's kind of a thing by itself what you see here is very thin solder and what i'm going to do now is i'm making my exhaust and again, because of the placement of the motor and where the wheels are, I don't have any room at all. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the solder and I'm going to twist it together so it can, makes it easier to work with. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to make some shorty headers is what I'm doing. And I'm just going to separate the, the, the four pieces and I'm going to glue them to a small thin piece of um, cardstock or styrene. And that's going to be my flange. And that's what I'll use to glue, glue to the motor, just like that, minus the flange. <laughs> so uh, essentially what I'm going to do is, you know, once those headers are in, I will, I can bend it because the solder is so thin and so flexible. Um, it works out really, really well. So I kind of hemmed and hawed, and I was actually going to do this twice uh, when it came to paint. So I was kind of I, I like to use certain projects to learn and try to try new things. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm scuffing up the body and I'm pretty much just taking the, the shine off and a little bit of the areas that maybe didn't have a lot of paint on it or down to bare metal. But again, I'm not concerned with that. Um, so before I get into that, I chassis, well, I call it chassis black. I blacked out all the, the chassis with chaos black and then i hit the body with the same chaos black and then i sanded it down and what that did is it left a little bit of um a little bit of black everywhere kind of gave it that that textured rough look um 
it's just a style. It's just one of those things that's hard to explain, but I just kind of scuffed it up and sanded it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the front clip red. And it, so right there, you can kind of see the look. And it's, it's kind of got that junkyard look to it, which is what I was after. And my goal originally after I did this was I was going to strip the whole thing and then um, polish it and Spectra Flame paint it. Um, but I kind of, the more I uh, worked on other things on the project, the more it kind of grew on me, the more I looked at it. So I decided to keep it this way. Uh, it was just, again, personal choice. And again, once it's, you know, I'm, I'm not being finesse here. I'm just kind of going, um, trying to scuff things up to make it look like it's been painted then repainted and parts have been changed out from another vehicle. That's why I did the whole front clip. And... Again, it's just a, a personal preference. It, it, there's no rhyme or reason as to why I did this. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will say it looks like crap, um, and you may be right. <laughs> um, there's no accounting for taste. So, again, it was just one of those things I wanted to experiment. I, I always do a clean, I either do a completely clean paint job or I'm going like wasteland style with rust and full patina. And I just figured I'd try something a little bit different. And this was my first foray into that. Um, I learned a lot, which was the whole point of it. Um, there's things I would do different next time to get the same look or a better look that's close. So, you know, you always, you always got to experiment and try different things. Uh, the biggest issue with this entire build, I will go into in a minute. In the meanwhile, as you guys know, I'm doing things a little bit different with my videos. I can't go too much into my full challenge builds, but that is a four horseman build that's coming up to make a mod rod a convertible so i'm going with a turbo and yeah, i'm just trying to do things a little bit different because i had done a, a convertible not too long ago and then i entered the car of the month challenge for the gaslands uk page again this month and i'm just playing around with this it's kind of a bootlegger redneck theme so i still got a long ways to go but that's all i can show you on those so um, thanks to Flying Valiant, I managed to get some company decals. And what I'm doing here is just kind of, again, playing around, see what kind of looks good, what doesn't look good. Um, I decided to turn this into a shop truck to a degree um, by putting my decals on it. So I'm going to put my my skull and crossbones on the do both doors and then the Maltese cross in the back. And I will put some you know, uh, sponsor logos on the front fender, the moon eyes and the, uh, Holly. Cause you know, stickers make shit go much faster. Oh, that's five horsepower. At least that's been proven. So anyways, but the, um, again, this is one of those things you just kind of play around with. I and mean, I know I was putting decals on and I was still at this point considering stripping everything. Um, so you, if you, it's hard when you do videos to experiment, all the time because you have a certain deadline that you feel you have to get the videos out for. Um, and this is one, that's why I'm kind of taking my time. It's like, I, you know, if I don't get a video out, I don't get a video out. I'm, I only have so much time in a day and I only have so many projects I can get on. And this was just one of those take my times. So I got all my paints out <laughs> and my paint brushes and my water and everything. And I, would show you, but you wouldn't see anything because I was hovering over it because I can't see anything. <laughs> but I got the uh, chassis painted, and it was a pain in the neck. Well worth it, but it was hard to do. So I got this aluminum can, and I'm just going to fill in where the exhaust was originally. Um, it kind of dumped out the side. But since this one dumps out the back, I'm just going to use the, um, the metal tin aluminum to cover that up. In the meanwhile, I painted the front of the windshield black where it sticks underneath the firewall just so that it blends in with everything else and then i'm going to dip it in some pledge floor shine i do have gauzy um, i actually prefer pledge and i happen to have some kicking around so um, just to shiny up the the glass just a little bit nothing fancy and yes i kept the yellow glass another thing i'll get my balls busted about so in here you can see me putting the um, aluminum pieces on the inside Again, I'm not trying to be fancy. These uh, these work actually look pretty good, even though you can barely see them. Um, I think it just adds a little bit since the exhaust was coming out the back now instead of the sides. It looked like it needed something to complete it, so um, 
aluminum cans are a great thing. Don't throw them, don't throw them all away. I mean, I've had one can for like five years. So I just cut little pieces out of it. So, um, and I'm just going to use this brass rod to make my axles. And this thing's ready to go together and start rolling. You can see the interior is pretty much painted. Um, everything's done. Everything's clear coated. Uh, the wheels are ready to go. Just going to put my axles in, crimp the ends, and I'm and I'm ready to roll. Uh, this was a fun project. I'm glad I glad I took my time on this one. As you can see, what I started with, just a plain old Hot Wheels 62 Chevy. You can see the exhaust there. Um, you can see how I cut the grill out. Uh, everything really came together. This was this was fun using these 3D printed parts. Um, you know. It's one of those things you got to practice with. The next one I do, I don't know if it'll be this exact model, if it'll be a 62 or I'll just do a regular Silverado, but I think I'm just going to cut the bed off completely and try that and see what it looks like. Um, it's the engine I think that I had the most hard, the hardest time with, but even that really wasn't that big of a deal. I probably made a bigger deal out of it than it needed to be, uh, but it's well worth it, well worth the effort. Um, I just I had a blast with this this thing looks uh, really really good uh, the uh, the entire project was just a, was just a blast to work on and hats off to um, Benchworks Toys for, for putting out some really quality stuff so other than that guys I got a couple glamour shots coming up here in a second I will um, catch you on the next one I really appreciate you guys watching and uh, that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I try to respond to everybody.